Hello and welcome. You're watching Deep Dive brought to you by NewsX and I'm Vaishali Kohli. Now, Make in India has achieved a new feat. After 12 years of hard work and research, India has been able to develop its first indigenous magnetic resonance imaging scanner. This MRI scanner has been developed by Voxel Grids, a Zoho-backed startup. This scanner, which has been deployed at Chandrapur Cancer Care Foundation near Nagpur, is the culmination pardon me, of a 12-year mission by founder Arjun Arunachalam and his team. Let's have a look at what this MRI machine has to offer and how it will benefit India's healthcare landscape. To begin with, this MRI has a magnetic field strength of 1.5 Tesla, Tesla, pardon me. But unlike the conventional global manufacturers such as Siemens and GE Healthcare, Voxel Grids incorporates a huge innovative factor. This factor is the elimination of the need of liquid helium. Let's understand what this element is. Liquid helium is a costly and specialized coolant. Traditional MRI systems demand continuous supply of liquid helium for cooling superconducting magnets. Basically, liquid helium cools the MRI magnet so the coils become superconducting and can carry electricity with zero resistance. The superconductivity of the magnet facilitates the MRI machine to create a strong, stable magnetic field needed to produce clear images. So what has Voxel Grids replaced this with? It uses liquid nitrogen. So what is better? First, nitrogen is easier to source, more affordable and better suited to Indian operating conditions. Second. The design in itself is conduction cool design, making it more compact and much cheaper to build. The next innovation that Voxel Grids has done is redesign the magnet. It is about 10% smaller than traditional MRI magnets, which also retains the same clinical strength. Moreover, the MRI system is made for both stationary and mobile use. It is so compact and lightweight that it weighs nearly half as much as conventional MRI machines. The traditional machines weigh 4 tons, but Voxel Grid's machines weigh 2.3 tons. With all these innovations, Voxel Grid's has managed a cost 40% lower than traditional MRI machines. Essentially, compared to traditional MRI machines, it departs from the convention in four ways. It uses liquid nitrogen instead of liquid helium. Its magnet is 10% smaller. It is 50% lighter and, of course, costs 40% less than contemporary pricier imports. This machine, in all senses, a true make in India story. Now, let's dive deeper into how this innovation is set to benefit India. Look at this statistic. India has fewer than 5,000 MRI machines, which ser serve serving more than 1.4 billion people. So each MRI machine serves about 3 lakh people on average. This means that there are only 0.4 MRI scanners per 1,000 beds, with most of the access restricted to Tier 1 cities. This lapse is due to the high cost of foreign manufactured medical equipment. Currently, the Indian MRI market is heavily concentrated, with the top five original equipment manufacturers, Siemens, GE Healthcare, Philips, United Imaging and Hitachi, holding over 91% market share by revenue. With reduced cost and domestic manufacturing, this MRI machine is set to benefit India's healthcare landscape greatly in terms of accessibility. Despite not having a full commercial launch yet, Voxel Grids can already produce 20 to 25 such scanners per year at its Bangalore facility. Additionally, Works and Grids also provides pay-per-use models, letting hospitals pay for these machines over time. This is especially beneficial for smaller hospitals that can't afford the high one-time cost of an MRI scanner. As mentioned earlier, this machine is mobile. That means the scanner can also be mounted on custom mobile platforms and transported to remote locations of India where the product 
can be made operational within a few hours. This new MRI scanner is expected to cut the cost of scanning by as much as 50 percent. This breakthrough comes at a critical juncture. Right now, India's medical device industry is experiencing unprecedented growth, estimated at Rs 17,606 crore in 2025. The diagnostic imaging equipment market is forecast to expand to 25,726 crore by 2030. With all these perks, one is bound to wonder how the founders managed this marvel and who backed them. Let's have a look at their journey. Arjun Arunachalam has an MD and a PhD and working experience in G Global Research Center. He's worked in the field of MRI since 2009. Arjun received a grant from Spring Singapore for developing MRI-related intellectual property. He built a small test scanner platform for MRI from this grant for the initial proof of concept test. In 2016, Arjun contacted Tata Trust and shared his proposal for building cost-effective, state-of-the-art magnetic resonance imaging scanners in India. The trust was supportive and introduced Arjun to the Foundation for Innovation and Social Entrepreneurship. The Voxel Grid's journey eventually started under FISE, where the core team was employed during the initial years. Voxel Grid's team worked as FISC employees and developed a proto MRI scanner. This prototype was deployed in mid 2017 at the Satyasai Institute of Higher Medical Sciences, Bangalore under an MOU signed between the two parties. The first set of images from the scanner were obtained in March 2018, and in mid-2019, Voxel Grids received a significant grant from the Biotechnology Industry Research Academic Council for Development of Indigenous Cryogenic Magnet and MRI Technologies. The company was previously awarded a grant by the United States India Science and Technology Endowment Fund as well. The company was also a recipient of the Barak Innovator Award 2020 that was presented by the Vice President of India. This enabled the company to take its first independent steps towards operating as an independent entity. Subsequently, the company was ISO 13485 certified in mid-2020 and in 2021, Zoho Corporation invested $5 million in Voxel Grids and provided crucial strategic support. This investment enabled the company to bridge funding gaps between R&D completion and market launch, accelerating the development of India's first indigenous MRI scanner. Voxel Grids today is an independent entity supported by multiple stakeholders and is on a mission to provide cost-effective, state-of-the-art magnetic resonance image scanning for the world markets. With innovation, affordability and mobility, Voxel Grids is set to transform MRI access across India, bringing world-class healthcare closer to every community. Dr. P. S. V. Rao, consultant surgeon from the Manipal Hospital in Bangalore, is joining me on the broadcast. Dr. P. S. V. Rao, welcome. And I want to begin by asking you, this is of course a very, very big feat and from a surgeon's perspective, how difficult is this indigenous MRI scanner for, how significant, pardon me, is this indigenous MRI scanner for India's healthcare system? Good evening. The MRI technology is an extremely complicated technology. It was preceded by the development of the CT scan. The uh, CT scan, uh, the people who developed it uh, way back in 1979, received a Nobel Prize in medicine. They were engineers who developed it, but they got a Nobel Prize in medicine. That is the kind of revolution that CT scan did. And MRI scan is far more complicated than the CT scan. And it involves the need for a super, uh, either a superconducting magnet initially, but now they've also used uh, uh, permanent magnets. and. Uh, to develop such powerful magnets that it can disturb the protons in the water molecules inside a body. Uh, 
that is the kind of powerful magnet you need. This is why no metal is uh, allowed on the patient when an MRI scan is done. If you have any metal, it will get come just ripped off your body onto the MRI machine. So that is the kind of magnet you have to have. Secondly, you have to have a, the technology to use radio waves to uh, then uh, put uh, these, uh, pr disturb these protons so that they go back to where they were in the water molecules in different parts of the body. And since most of the body has got a considerable amount of water, this uh, when the protons go back, the radio wave, the uh, signature they leave behind, the pathway they leave behind is then used by a very sophisticated software to create images of the body. So this is a highly skilled and a very complicated technology. And the um, claim that has been now made is the traditional MRI machines since they ne needed superconducting uh, magnets, they used uh, uh, liquid helium at very low temperatures, which was required for those magnets. But they have claimed that they have developed the magnet without needing superconducting, uh, supercooling uh, 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 with helium. And that's how the cost has also come down. Plus, they claim to have used artificial intelligence to improve on the software which is used for the, uh, to create the images. So, and they have also said that the radio wave, the electronics required for it has been further compacted. So they have, uh, what they have done is not just uh, duplicated what the other companies have already been doing, they have gone far ahead. The other thing is that I am very happy, this is happening in my hometown of Bangalore, where um, for quite some years, Philips, uh, Siemens and um, General Electric, the three major uh, manufacturers of these MRI scans, you also mentioned two other companies, they have been having their uh, design and development going on here. So there is ob ob uh, obviously a um, uh, ecosystem here which supports this kind of work. And it is remarkable that these people have been able to develop this, develop the components and uh, make the actual machine and it is working in a hospital. This is a really something, a major step for us. And uh, this should energize all other startups who want to develop um, sophisticated medical technology so that instead of being importers, we become uh, self-sufficient and they have also claimed that they will be, they are uh, trying to develop a portable MRI machine which can be taken to remote places and uh, used to um, where there is no MRI machine. So if they succeed in that, uh, it will be a huge <laughs> difference. MRI machines are, ve uh, scans are very useful for brain tumors, brain injuries, spinal injuries, spinal tumors, joints, um, ch checking out the ligaments and the uh, insides of a joint and also in uh, liver, spleen and other organs inside the body. The MRI is a huge boost to our health services if it is made available at an affordable cost and it is made here. Yes. Now, Dr. Rao, you know, another very important point is about the accessibility, the lower cost and power efficiency will make this more affordable and accessible, particularly for smaller hospitals and in rural, rural areas of the country. But my question really is, because I do know that MRI scans are very expensive. So, you know, when a person goes in for an MRI scan with this technology, will that reduce the cost for the patient as well? What do you think? Capital costs of, MR, of an MRI scan are such that the actual uh, charges for uh, each MRI scan is high. It is because the capital cost itself and anyone who buys an MRI scan, any hospital, any health facility will need to pay back the cost of that. So the cost is high. Now, if they are um, succeeded in making it, with it without liquid hydrogen, that itself reduces the capital cost of a MRI machine quite dramatically and they are claiming it is, they have got it down by about 30%. 
which is a huge um, when when the entire cost is concerned. And if they uh, and if it is produced in India, and uh, you know how we are in frugal engineering. Indians are known for it, frugal engineering, bringing down the costs. You you can see ISRO doing it. You can see DRDO doing it. There are a lot of uh, industries in India doing that. So if we can further reduce the cost once this goes Dr. into Rao, mass production. Dr. Rao, apologies for interrupting you, but we are very short of time. But I really want to thank you for joining me on the broadcast. And with that, viewers, we're slipping into a short commercial break. We'll be back shortly.